How's it going, YouTube? Uh, just a quick little video about the state of affairs right now. Um, so gas prices, as we know, are going up. Things are getting more and more expensive. Uh, you know, in case there's some people out there that don't realize what the effect is and how the how it's going to trickle down to affect everybody, as I want people to think about truck deliveries. Those trucks are not electric. They run on fuel, most of them diesel. And diesel right now is even more expensive than gasoline. So my buddy and I are at work and we're driving all over town looking for S and D pipe. So we're stonemasons. We we lay walkways, we do stone steps, we do patios, that kind of thing. Well, right now we're at a point where we have to lay this walkway, but we can't without the drainage pipe, the S and D pipe. Sewage and drainage is what that stands for. It's not anywhere. There was one uh, business that said uh, there's a big construction thing going on, and they bought it all up from everywhere, from here to Cortland. <laughs> well, hey, you know, first come, first serve, I understand that. Home Depot, Lowe's, Haps, and Duke Company, and J.C. Smith. These are the places that we can go for materials like that. Every one of them's out. Every one of them. Why is there no deliveries being made? Well, because truckers can't afford to fill their tanks. You know? Uh, so there's less and less deliveries being made. So what this the effect is... The big companies that can still afford things are going to be able to keep rolling. While small companies like the one I work for, we're going to be like, oh shit, yeah, guess there's nothing to do today. Well, that's all well and good for today, for about tomorrow, next week, a month. Am I going to be able to hold out that long without, you know, a steady income coming in? Probably not. You know, who can? You know, no one's got that kind of money. And I know there's other people out there in a similar position, you know, don't got no money. So, there's a big push for electric. Well, where's electricity coming from? You can only <laughs> charge so many vehicles on one line, you know, with your grid, before that's overloaded. You know, these, these cars are very huge batteries. They take a lot of juice to charge for hours. You know, you got to charge a car for hours before you can go, you know, drive it again. So now imagine if everybody on your block and on the next block and the next block and the next block and in the whole city all have electric vehicles and they all plug them in at night before they go to work tomorrow morning because as we all know, most people work nine to fives. So when they get home at five o'clock at night, the first thought is I got to plug my car in so I can go to work tomorrow. It's no different than your cell phone. You go to bed, what do you do? You usually plug your phone in, right? So what happens when everybody's doing that? It's not like we got an upgrade on electric, generating electricity. And, you know, nuclear power is a 50-50, so-so. You know, we all know about Chernobyl, and we all know about Japan, and, you know, several other places that have had, you know, disasters. It's a very dangerous thing. And my thing is, is okay, what, what about solar? Where's solar power? All of a sudden, everyone forgot about solar. No one's talking about solar. No one's talking about wind. No one's talking about that shit. Why? Because it's not the money. It's not the big money thing right now. Now the big money thing is electricity because electric cars. Now imagine, change change your mindset for a second and think about, well, what if it was solar cars? Shit, I remember back in the 80s, uh, I think it was MIT. If I'm not mistaken, you go ahead and correct me. Um, I think it was MIT that did... A solar powered car and drove it uh, X amount of miles and it's back in the 80s you know it was a very basic it was just a basic frame with a with a solar panel on top you know kind of kind of like top of it there but it worked it functioned that was the, that was the point of the statement is it did work now with enough funding and enough research why not you know what I mean you don't got to plug your car in then you just it charges up while you're at work you know, you get out of work and boom, your car's ready to roll. Sure, you can have batteries to power it at night or, you know, getting to work in the morning. But while you're working, your car can be charging. So when you get out of work, you pop in your car, 
ready to go. I don't know if that's the actual noise they make, but you know. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I uploaded a short video uh, yesterday, day before yesterday, um, depicting gas prices being 519 for high test for uh, 93 octane, 96, 93, whatever. And uh, someone mentioned in my comments that, uh, no, why don't you just use cheaper gas? I would love to. I would love to use the cheap shit gas. Unfortunately, with my crap truck being a V6 turbo, EcoBoost, EcoBitch, I like to call it, it will stutter, shudder, and stall. I'm not kidding you. And unfortunately, I can't afford to get filters changed and all that shit because it costs too much fucking money. I can barely afford to keep gas in the goddamn thing that alone do any maintenance and repairs. I'm behind on my oil change. I gotta get that done. So I gotta cut myself short this coming week just to be able to get the oil change done so I can keep making it run back and forth. You get the point. You get the point where I'm coming from. Um, I'm not going to rattle on and on and on. just wanted to do a quick video to kind of get it in people's mindset that you know this issue with truckers not being able to bring stuff in as much you're gonna you know everybody's gonna start seeing it you know i mean food look at grocery stores to this day i still haven't seen canned sliced mushrooms on the shelf only the the full mushrooms because those are the ones that people don't want to buy because then you got to prep them so you're going to see more of that you know every week you go to the grocery store you're going to see less and less things there's going to be less and less things i'm not saying they're going to go out i'm not you know calling for a panic and everybody get your you know mad max vehicles and shotguns out and shit i'm not saying that not yet um but you're going to start seeing just little things here and there be like oh wow that's weird they still don't have any of these oh huh, that's weird i can't find any of these anywhere oh huh, that's weird that's that's what we're facing people and until uh our current potato in chief gets uh, sent out to pasture. You know, I'm I'm afraid we're we're just gonna keep seeing more and more of this madness. You know, uh, yeah. So buckle your seatbelts. You know, uh, but keep in mind, this too shall pass. It will. You know, us working guys will get pushed to the corner far enough to where we'll spring back. You know, we'll retaliate. You know, just. None of us want to because none of us can afford to go protest and, and you know, do that kind of shit because we all got to go to work to provide for our families. We won't have time for that crap. But anyway, thanks for uh, checking out the video. I really appreciate you guys taking the time and uh, checking out a little guy like me. Remember all that stuff that everybody else tells you to do. Do what you want, but it would kind of help if you thumbs up, subscribe, share. You know, go ahead, man. Spread the word because, shit, man, I want that YouTube money. <laughs> Yeah, that's a joke, but seriously. Thanks.